delayed between that one and that one. Oh, yeah. That's where it is. Oh. All right. well, we're back. Um, as you know, I'm Connor. This is Jacob. Yeah, um, and we're going to be commentating for the second game of League of Legends finals today. After an absolutely stomping first game, I'll be very interested to see what happens, especially in the bot lane of this next game. Yeah. Just absolutely watching Seraphine and Jana get pummeled by Blitzcrank and Shin. And it hit them all. Yeah. Like, absolutely. <laughs> it's a massacre. <laughs> it, it was honestly a massacre. We had a 10 and 2. Was it 10 and 2? Was it 10 and 1, I think. 10 and 1. 10 and 1 for Ephraim, I think it was 10 and 2. It might have been 11 and 2 for Victor. Yeah. Um, it's just absolutely stopping. It was just those repeated ganks bot lane. And then even our rally, we had a top lane advantage, which is getting absolutely killed in by Ephraim. Of course. You just, they just have to like fix their mental and fix their draft. Yeah. And maybe get a bit of vision as well. Yeah. If I, if I see another APC in the bot lane from red side, I'll be. Kind of surprised, yeah, but but <laughs> yeah, but you know, there's like a wasn't there like a statistic for um male League of Legends players playing like 50% female champs, 50% <laughs> male champs, versus female League of Legends players, so we play like 98% female champs, and like most of the female champs are like mages, so like and the, and their ADC, yeah, so statistically, their ADC is an APC player, yeah, 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 yes, yeah, I mean, they're fine. Because with proper some proper battle mates like you know Swain, Swain, Seraphine, the lot they can pump out damage. But like, if you go like Swain Jana, you just want to build magic resist. On the other hand, if you go like Jana and plus an ADC, if you've got armor and magic resist, which yeah. isn't like optimal, you know. Yeah, that's gonna be very hard. Then you have to wait, rush yourself to late game because you can just build a little bit of magic resist, a little bit of armor, and they get a massive lead on either the AP or the AD. Yeah. You're going to be behind all game because you need no damage and not enough magic resist or armor to, to counter off the, the players that are absolutely yeah. stopping you. That's not all we want. Well, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a swing this game after seeing their team comp for the last one. It looks like they're going to go for those kind of like AP team champions. I don't know because, yeah. but, but like most of the players are like OTPs. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. have like three champions with like M7 on and they yeah. pick it even if they're picking like Victor into Akali. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be disappointed if I see another one trick pony that's just building into a champion and they're obviously counted by the start. That's just be kind of sad to be honest. Yeah, but like the funniest part is, you know, Victor went even, which means he won. Mm. Yeah. Two. Level six hits. If I was a Kali, I'd have like instant R flash E autos shenanigans and like you Victor dead. <laughs> you have though, because you're going to lose a CS gap as a yeah. Kali into Victor every single time. So your only real option is to play very, very, very aggressive yeah. in the hopes that you'll pick off some nice, easy kills. And then you can just nice and casually clear them anyways because they're going to have to pull back. To yeah. The problem is, he was like assassin into battle mage. I'm going to win early. But he doesn't understand, the Kali player did not understand the fact that level 1 Victor is so, oh, um, level 1 of Victor is extremely strong because he's got, he's got a Q, then he's got auto, empowered auto attack after that, exactly. and he gets a shield as well. Yeah. Which means like level 1 training, Victor is almost always bad. Yeah. You hit level 2 on a Kali, you get QE, or you get hit level 3, that should be even a kill. Yeah. Level 6 wasn't another kill, and that's just wrong, wrong the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see. I, I think that the big ones we're going to watch for this game is going to be the bot lane and the mid lane picks. Yeah. I think Jungle was very influential in that game, and Hecarim just obviously took a, a massive advantage um, over the year with those games early bot lane and those big drag picks. But uh, yeah, we'll see what they do this time around. I'm expecting to see another Rengar ban because uh, in the last game, and... oh, another look one thing. Oh, I don't get it really because she's just so weak. It, it, must, be, so it weak. must be a one trick pony. It must be. Yeah, but then, okay, maybe the Rengar players on blue team. Oh, okay, yeah, right. Yeah, the Rengar players on the blue team. Maybe they go for the exact same. I mean, this is pretty much pick for pick what we've seen last game. Oh, they banned the Hecarim. interesting, because, I mean, it'd be pretty unlikely that they'd play Hecarim game I know. Two. Yeah, because he, it doesn't look like he actually knows how to play Hecarim. It was just his right. macro, which is a cream we did. Maybe he's played a few games with Hecarim, but he yeah. doesn't understand build on Hecarim. He did have a, a massive advantage going against an APC, two APC bot yeah. lane, and all he had to do really was just dodge the Janna thing. Yeah. Yeah. He was a home free. And I wouldn't go Ribbon. I wouldn't. I don't like banning Ribbon because okay, sure she's strong early, but you pick something like um, Fiora into her. You pick something like I don't know Akshan into her. That's it. It's GG. Mm -hmm. Why ban Ribbon? I mean, I, I kind of understand it 
Because Rivers in the Morning Champion with her knockups and her stuns and her yeah. shields and her dashes. Yeah, but that, that uh, because these people don't understand. Rather than banning, they should like counter picking. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. And the same thing with counter building. See, Kane, if another Kane, again, Kane, Kane, Kane man. Exact same. Exact same. And, uh, and a victor man. And a victor man because they were like because an Akali lost the victor doesn't doesn't mean that the victor is good. It just means that the Akali is either bad or is this a bad pick. Do you, do you reckon we're gonna see another Akali mid lane right now? I don't think so. Maybe not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Because that, that Akali, even if she's M seven, she's atrocious. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, some interesting things going on last night. Oh yeah, Olaf. Okay, Olaf's pretty good. I, I don't know. I'm not really. Cause I used to play Olaf back in the day when the W used to be able to give you life steal and you yeah. just max that rather than your QE. Because you yeah. need that thing at level nine, you get something like twenty five percent. Yeah. Life plus your oh, you just sound killable. Yeah, but um, now like like depends on the open team. See, if they go like range champs, Olaf's gonna be bad because he needs to run in with yeah. his ult. For sure. He needs sure. to run in with his ult and this Ari Ari picks him. Okay, I I I. I, I mean, I could see Ari being annoying. I mean, imagine playing Ari into a Kali deck. That could be interesting. Yeah, but, uh, yeah I, I wanted to miss an Ari thing, but like, you know, Ari is a very specific kind of champion. She is not a... Well, we're going to see another Jin in this game. Oh, okay, yeah. So he's going Jin again. This is going to be very interesting. He wasn't too influential in the last game. Didn't really see too much out Early he was pretty good. Early yeah, he was pretty good. Yeah, but yeah, late he just got one tap. Okay, but... Yeah. Ari was room. just enough that it didn't really matter if Jin got picked though. Ari is very interesting because she all she has all she does is ult in, get a pick, ult out. I mean, get a pick. I mean, she's charms someone, and the rest of the team should do the damage because she doesn't like the damage. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So any into Ari is a lose. It's a yeah. lose. Yeah. Any range. Uh, he has no range yeah. other than a Q into Ari. And Ari's mobility is insane. She can just ult dash away. By the time any gets up there, even if he lands a Q stun, she won't even get a bit of a Yeah. No, so that's just about. And it's gonna be easy as for Ari just to charm ult out of every single ult play. I mean, if this Ari does gets hit by every single ult of any, that's kind of the any is very, very good, but the Ari is just very, very bad. Yeah. And it could go by the way in those ways. And it's a Yumi support pick, which is interesting because their enchanters are very strong. But the question is whether the dude knows how to play Yumi. Because yeah. until again, until like Master Grandmaster, I've not seen a single Yumi who actually gets out of the ABC to all attack and prop pass. <laughs> it's like Yumi players are like, hmm, she has one ability which is like attached onto people. The other thing as well is most people who play Yumi, they want to tank skill shots to save their ADs yeah. like coming off, dashing off with it and dashing back on to yeah. them just to save them. Um, oh, I've seen a gym blitzcrank combo with Keen in a bot lane. Uh, yeah, it worked well last time. I found yeah. from it. Yeah, very, very well. Against the Yumi, it's going to be quite interesting to see who the ADC is because they're going to need a lot of mobility for that. Jin and Blitzcrank with that Jin W and that Blitzcrank C. Not a problem. If, if it was me, I would have picked Morgana. But, because one of your Ari picks, two of your Blitzcrank picks. Morgana would have been an overpowered support here. I mean, I mean, MF is a direct counter to Jin, but other than that, I don't see why. Yeah, and I mean, plus when you have a blitz screen, though, they yeah, doesn't really matter. Really stop doing much with their ult. Yeah, and Udu's another pick you like that. You know, you need to have like a lot of game knowledge to understand how the champion works. Like, because he's a one champion in game whose only thing is to all attack. Like. I mean, ADC sure do that, but like, it is, I mean, Udo is like normal, it's like short range. So, the Udo rework is his ult now is insane, it's pretty much his picks are ult, but it's wider. Yeah. It does a little bit less damage, so I mean, coming in, it's, it could be quite a bit of damage. I mean, with Udo, the and MF and the team, I'd be very, very interested. But Trundle does the same thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, it doesn't matter. And Trundle's probably, again, I think if you get anti healing against Trundle, and the same way, they're going to find a very, very hard off. Oh, Deal. Well, yeah. That is a very interesting pick. Bane. Bane Yumi. Okay. No way this guy goes Mordekaiser again after that absolutely stomping loss. Mordekaiser into Shen is a win though for Mordekaiser. Yeah. The Shen ult bot lane could be potential big plays on I could see that. Oh, maybe much. that's why. Yeah, because last time his bot got hard stomped. Yeah, exactly. They, they did kind of hard focus it, and especially since we're probably seeing a trundle jungle here. Uh, I'd be very concerned that Trundle ganking bot lane, especially with his W and his E, is just yeah. going to have to give this into time. I mean, if Vayne gets even slightly mm -hmm. ahead or even, with like Shen and Olaf and uh, Olaf tanking and Annie plus Yumi CC, it's like a penta angle. It's yeah. a penta angle if the Vayne knows how to play. Vayne is a very good pick against that team. Yeah. 
that blitzcrank can just be either way, straight away, and then you can easily pick off the Mordecai's with and a bit of mobility, and same thing with Trundle, just a bit of damage. I would say with the E for Trundle, because he's at high priority, I would just like QO from Blitzcrank's yeah. skill shots instead, yeah. I think also with Fane against Trundle, it's got to be a counter pick, because as soon as Trundle chucks up his E, it's automatically a wall. So yeah. immediately, Fane can just E anybody straight into that, the instant stun against the wall. Yeah. They have a lot of stun potential on their team. You've got the, the, the Terrify from Shen, you've got the stun ult from Annie, the stun ult from Yumi, and then you've got Olaf who's pretty much going invincible. I, I imagine Olaf's just going to run it down straight into all the CC. Tank, tank Ari, tank Blitzcrank, tank Mordekaiser, and then just so Vayne can come in there and just be like bang, 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 yeah. you're done. Oh, are we watching on Spectator Delay? I believe so, yeah. Okay, okay. So we're looking at two point, two and a half minute yeah. to delay. Uh, must be what it is. That's all good. Yeah. This means that we'll be a bit behind. <laughs> I mean, it's not like the players should know. No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully not. But it's not like the players have the Twitch stream open uh, to all time, eh? Yeah. I mean, we've got refs. We've got refs. <laughs> we've got refs. They're downstairs. They're making sure no one's cheating. Yeah. This should be interesting as well, because we just switched over to PCs, and in the last game, Red Side were on the PCs. Which are better, better specs. Yeah. But one of the monitors, the, the jungler, was just absolutely like, I don't want to play on this, don't want to touch it at all, don't yeah. want to be anywhere near this monitor, and he's I... a nicer monitor. So let's see if this makes a difference. I probably. don't understand though, like, if it was Nidalee, fine. If it was like Lee Sin, I understand. But he played yeah. Ma Misty. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Master E. Played uh, Master E. Maybe it was because of the monitor. He was like, I, I can't do this. So I was just going to press R and Q. I could hope for the best. If it lags, it lags. Who cares? Yeah. They're dead or they're not dead. I could play Master E on a screen which is year wide and still win. Which, uh, which, yeah, which brilliantly leads me into today's sponsors, which is um, Me Today, who's a skincare and um, health and beauty company and the uh, uh, Westlink and social uh, short junction esports is probably sponsored by them today so if you're in um, if you're looking for some skincare health and beauty products check out me today on their website or on site 100% naturally derived and we're looking here manuka essential oil in the purifying cleanser and as you can see from this ugly mug I should definitely get some of these because uh, uh, I definitely need some, probably should actually get some moisturise as well. Skin's starting to crack. Um, as you've seen, probably quite a lot. I've been drinking a lot of water, so maybe I should get myself some uh, lip balm. Uh, it could be quite good for myself. Botanicals and vitamins. Awesome. Yeah. We'll leave these on if you guys can see that or not. Hopefully you can. We should be getting into game soon, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be, if, it's gonna be very interesting, you know? Mm. Very flashy pick, you know? Very flashy. I, I know, they could have done, and this would be very, very stupid, but interesting, is they could have put Bane top. <laughs> oh, and yeah. she was ADC. I wouldn't be too surprised <laughs> yeah. after seeing Seraphine ADC in the last game. Yeah. They're not going to do something jolly. I didn't like see any that. swaps, though. I didn't see any swaps, nah. so yeah. But I think in, in this level of play, there's no real need for swaps. I mean, these guys are mostly just playing their one trick ponies. Yeah. There, there's no one going, oh, yeah, I won. Vayne because Vayne's going to be the perfect counter pick because she's yeah. in meta, she's strong and they've got three picks or tanks already. Yeah. If I was, if uh, me or my team was like in the finals, you know, mm. our extremely OCD-ish uh, drafted dude would have had our head if he just went like, you know, if he went Zed Yasuo, which is like, you know, our one tricks. <laughs> There's a nice skin in here today. Uh, any not having a skin is kind of disappointing, considering she has some of the most skins in the game. Yeah. Oh, EDG Yumi. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm liking Project Bane. Like, if you're gonna run a Bane skin, Project Bane is pretty sick. Yeah. I got a skin there. Trundle. I got that skin the other day, and it's so clean, so clean. You know. Oh, it's World Breaker Trundle. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. It looks pretty similar to the um the Bane skin. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's so clean. And the bike. Look at Yumi just chilling on the back. Yeah. Let's see, let's see what the Yumi does. Let's see what the Yumi does, eh? Okay. I'm trying to just change his items up a bit here. Ooh, okay. No red, uh, no uh, blue topside vision. This is interesting. There's no blue topside vision. She might go in for it, but I mean, it'd be pretty risky at this point. Yeah. Solo. Into like more that trundle? Yeah. Yeah, it'd be. It'd be potentially yeah. Ari there as well. I'd yeah. be concerned with that. Oh yeah, we can see the full map now. It's so beautiful. Yeah, that's perfect. Isn't it? 
Okay, Trundle's basing. Is he done? Is he gonna do the old ward base, get an Oracle lens, and come back? Yes, he is. Because yeah, that's a pretty late to drop there for one. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was not gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, maybe he doesn't know that you can ward any time you recall and doesn't stop the recall. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. But probably it's probably to get that extra few seconds of war time, you know? Yeah. That's exactly. It's not gonna affect a lot because the whole point of warding there is. If you ward there and go to blue side, but he just warded top red and then got went back to red. So it's well, he's got oracles now in gears, so he's just got enough to get that wall clear straight away off the bat. Yeah. Ari going straight in. Oh, got the electric field cross, that's the crazy. Yeah. yeah. If I was a Trundle though, I would have like place a ward and then gone to blue side. Or place a ward and yeah, blue yeah, side yeah. and then go down. Okay. okay. Trundle's probably one of those players that you want, one of those champions that you want to have the blue for the turn the jungle. Let's so say you can pick up some nice um, camps without having a good worry. Yeah. Oh, what a class E start. Interesting, interesting. Maybe he's just going to. I mean, Shin's probably. Yeah, he isn't going to dash first. He's going yeah. to shield. Look at this Blitzcrank. Oh, Absolutely. yeah. Just, oh, okay. Yeah. He can still go for it. They just saw him. They just saw him. Oh, no, okay. Never mind. He's on Q. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be weird if he's on E. Okay. shen has got his grass proc. This comes over. This Blitzcrank skin is so old in this comic community. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that was. Oh, is that is that a level? Oh, is that a heal straight away? Yeah. Heal and exhaust. Uh, I think the exhaust was taken away because it was a jet wasn't. Unless he maybe would have flashed it, but he still would have. He didn't have fourth shot though. He didn't have fourth shot. Yeah. So it's not worth. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Shen's dodging all the skill shots. Shen's dodging all the skill shots. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we're looking at mid. Look, look at them just like trading both. I think that any might be struggling a little bit here. Right, okay. The Yumi, Yumi, yeah, uh, as I predicted, Yumi doesn't understand the concept of getting out of the ADC, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. The stun, any stun is being shoved in by Ari. It's like the first. Yeah, I mean, I should have expected it. Since already... Ari, though, she's already almost. Uh, she's kind of forcing this wave just so she's back. If any smart, she'll freeze the wave there so that she can just actually get a massive wave behind her and then force it straight to the Ari turret and then just back herself. Yeah. But what it looks like she'll probably do, I think I'm trying to. Oh, this might be a kill, this might be a kill. Okay, oh, okay. that is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what was that about? What was that? Right? What was that about? What was that about? Monetizer is... Oh, oh beautiful flash! Beautiful flash, yeah. He must have seen the old Justin came out. Yeah, yeah, that was actually... Wait, yeah, oh, yeah, she does not have flash. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, she does have flash. Oh, oh, flash came from the Yumi there. Oh, okay, nice. yeah, that saved her. I think Trundle's gonna come round. He's trying to come round, he's trying to force it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I might not... Okay, okay, okay. He doesn't see, he doesn't see. Right. Olaf's coming in. They could potentially bait this. They could potentially bait it. Oh, okay, oh, okay. The auto text going all the way back to base. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There's it's kind of pointing you know, you know, Oh, there it is. Boom. Headshot. Back on my own. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. We've got Olaf. We've got Olaf walking in bot lane. This is going to be interesting. The Yumi's Oh, why did the one turn down? Oh, and he missed the Q. Oh, never no, mind. First blood, first blood, first blood. Oh, Blitzcrank tanking for Olaf? Okay, this is convertible. This is con okay, never mind. Yeah. They have to point. Craggy, a graggy ice. <laughs> Olaf's axe. <laughs> I love Olaf. Yeah. Yeah. The good old. Just like, you know, French made Nedley and the rest. This is a different Mordekaiser skin from the last one, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not. It's not. It's, it's not yeah. gonna pay off for Ari, unfortunately. Yeah, and she, it looked like she did not buffer E before flashing. Rather, she flashed E, no? Yeah. Which is, which is interesting. But yeah. it was a well played um, E from the the Trundle there. The, yeah. That hit. That was just there's no way anyone can get yeah. out of it. Honestly though, Trundle should just be playing for bot side because playing for mid is not going to do you anything. You, yeah. you don't you don't even want Ari to survive. You just need her to get like ult and maybe like twenty ability haste so that she can just ult in E for the base. That's a kill. That's a kill. Beautiful. Too much CC. Yeah. There's just nothing you can do against it. I think this. That looked like it was more than a one point two five second um, charge. Yeah? No. E on the. No, I, 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 I mean, like, considering the weight clear she's getting, I don't think so. I don't yeah, think so. Yeah. You're right. 
We're looking at the end of an early lead, 900 gold lead already. Yeah. We that was pretty much the same around the same time as last game. Yeah, yeah, 10 minutes. It's 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 not six. Six. So they haven't gone for the drag roll early, which is interesting. Maybe they wait for the second to get yeah. up after a gank. Oh, so this could be big. Oh, oh that's it. Is that oh, a kill? Does he have oh, oh, she does. Oh, oh, no. oh wait, is that, is that a ghost? Close. Close. Ghost Ari, that's new. Yeah, that's very interesting. I mean, like, considering the fact that she has ult, which is reset, which resets on kills, I don't know gun ghost, but like, okay, interesting. Yeah, I mean, against that team, I, mean, I kind of get it. Uh, you want to kind of put some mobility against it. This trouble is absolutely just forcing this Vayne to chill out of the turret. Yeah. And you can see that the red side has got a nice way to clear center there, which is making Vayne's life true hard. Yeah. She's 10 CS behind, which isn't too bad. Um, if you look at the, the CS gap, I mean, you know, Yumi was 6 CS, so Blitz Pank was 10. So, Realistically, the gold difference between them, Jin's probably looking more at 50 CS against Vayne's only 28 at this point. Yeah. See, the thing is, after the events of last game, I would have gone like a more aggressive support in the Blitzcrank just to counter him. Like, yeah, he's, right. yeah, he's been playing so well the whole game. I mean, both games. I would have liked to have seen a Leona go into a Blitzcrank. Oh, just... yeah, a Leona Nautilus, yeah. Yeah, Fun or stuff. Nautilus, yeah, that would have been very nice, yeah. Or, you know, you know, wouldn't it have been like 400 IQ? Picking Orn. Or, yeah, yeah like Blitzcrank yeah. hooks, and if you react to it, like instant W, yeah. and such a bit. Oh, that's yeah, Shen off. off it's wasted. Yeah, it's wasted. Both are dead now. That's. Oh, 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 that's so good. Ari's picking up a kill mid. I mean, we're looking at marking the six kills already. Yeah. Trundle was eight minutes in. Trundle was odd Chandler because he's like one of those bruises who scale well. You know, like Fiora. Like, yeah. Fiora, who else? Yeah, who scale well. I don't know if he's been soloed though, because the last time he did this was Hecarim with one lethality. Yeah. yeah. Plus he also had um, the tier at that point. Yeah. Uh, and this one... Like he, did it. He, might he might smite, he might smite. He might he really smite. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, and he don't even have the upgraded smite. Okay, Jin's yeah. helping, Jin's helping. Yeah, so he's got... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would have gone for that because like you know, if I was an iron if I was playing an iron game right now, random jungler would have flashed and smited and taken it out and died. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it could be big because if they get another two um, drags, oh, okay, okay, game, okay. It's very big. Vayne almost did not get a control. You can see red side's already pinging here. Also here we go. Here's Hitler coming down. Okay, here's um, more guys coming down. This. I'm interested. This could be big here. This could be big. Hey, do we wait to smile? There we go. There it is. Pick it up. 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 He's over here. Pick it up. Pick Runs in the exact opposite direction. Oh, that was fun. And it's kind of funny how a level 6 Olaf nearly bet a level 8 Mordecai. But it's just Olaf for you. I mean, he picks up that 40 extra damage plus the W for that shield. Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> But like, you know, so Mordecai's in the Mordecai's stuff, you know, like, I was playing Mordecai's the other day. Oh, Absolutely. You're not watching a single one of these cues. I just ulted now, she's ulted now. Well, she's ulted now. Why is she, why is she, she no, why is she, she's scared. Because, I mean, I don't understand. This one looks like 16 seconds. I think we're taking at 12. And she's walking the blitz crank back a little bit, so you can't be as aggressive. Because Jen's not an aggressive ADC, and as long as Yumi's on them, then she's got the advantage, right? Yeah. And force blitz crank out of range, Jin can't 1v2 them. Oh, no, no, but like, Jin? Is he, yeah. Is that on Blitzcrank? I think so, but there's a ward. There's a yeah. ward. Yeah, I mean, Hexplash on Blitzcrank is pretty standard. I mean, interesting yeah. he didn't go last game. Yeah, but like, but Jin is one of those ADCs. Look at that. Horn yeah. with a thumbs up. What a savage. He <laughs> knows what he's doing. You know, he's Shen, Shen was in Mordekaiser? Shen was in Mordekaiser? I would oh, see Shen. Yeah, yeah I would have, I, that's the right play. Yeah. Yeah. Yellow Jacket Shen. Oh, referencing Mortal Kombat, eh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, holding the fourth shot. I would have uh, placed an E. Okay, no, he's not pressuring. He's not pressuring. I think some of the uh, items come back up on the screen. I'm interested to see uh, what the CS gap is between Fane and uh, Jen now. Yeah, so if you look at Ari, she's not got the E max. She's got like Q and W. Straight, same, mm. same old build, you know? They, 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 no, you, what? She's not old up. Ari, she should have died there with a nice old E. That's yeah, but people don't realize is that like if a Annie has one stack, it's a it's just one rotation of her abilities for her to get stun off. Look at the po 
Oh, okay. from this Ari, and yeah. the healing from the professor. This, this Annie just absolutely getting wrecked. Yeah. I, I can't believe that she picked Annie into uh, Ari. Yeah, no, I know. I told her. I clearly remember telling them to fix that raft, but clearly they yeah. all go all the way. Here comes the whole raft. It's not gonna do much, because, yeah, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. Very, very, very. Oh, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, it didn't fall. Yeah, it didn't. Oh, no. Okay. It's a dive. It's a change for me, but they're not going to. Yeah. Okay, that was that was good. That was good. Yeah, it's, been, it's Mordecai. He doesn't have like attack speed early. You know, remember the good old days when you used to do a Nash's tooth? Oh, I don't yeah. even get me started on that one. That was the first. <laughs> yeah. But he's still, I mean, like these Fine. days, these, these days all they do is go like Sunfire, Sunfire, what do you call it? Demonic Embrace. They don't need the heal because they're so tanky and it's a little the same damage. Oh, yeah, he's going Sunfire. Yeah. What did I say? <laughs> sunfire. Yeah, we know it as soon as it comes out. This Jin's got big shutdown. I'm surprised they didn't go for the pick on the Jin there rather than picking off the Blitzcrank and the Trundle. Yeah. I mean, they did get the good shutdown on the Trundle. And look at that Steve's Jack in the jungle there. Olaf, uh, 30, 20 years ahead at this point. Yeah. Um, and it was like 10, 20 years Jack top. Uh, 20 mid. Yeah, and and the sh Shen went Shen went Merc threads, which I wouldn't do because it's it's kind of obvious that uh, that um, uh, Trundle's going divine, mm. and like Jin's already a Gale Force. So I would have gone plated just so that I wouldn't die. I mean, the yeah. CC is not going to do a lot since uh, he's already so tanky. Yeah, yeah. Especially since Bane's showing a lot of skill with Bane, but just for whatever reason, can't watch the <laughs> skill shots. Yeah, but it seems to have good positioning in the fight. Ari's on one dark skin stack. This might be convertible. Mm. Might, oh, and she's got Everfrost. Yeah, so she's oh. doing the true picking build. So in this game, it would have been wise to go Ludens on Ari just so they can one tap yeah. the Bane before he actually gets. Yeah. I mean, like it depends on how good the Bane is. If she's like, since we've not seen a proper team fight yet, we can't see how good Bane is at kiting or like positioning. Yeah. Oh, she altered back, she altered out, she altered out, which is interesting. So there's a burn from... Ari still got her roll up, so she still got a dash left, but we see that Flash, Ignite, and all of Annie are all gone. Okay, so I am good. interested, I am interested that the Bane did not see the front of the earlier, and she... Oh, okay, she's all like that stage, yeah. 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 And that's probably Yumi that as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah and the same the Bane, since yeah. she had altered, yeah. Because this Bane's so far behind, and you can't really get rid of the influence in the game until they get anyway. Yeah. At this point. But Bane could have potential if she could just catch some of his boulder. Yeah. Because um, this is Jin's not. I mean, he's, he's alright, but I haven't seen anything major from him yet that I just think, whoa, what a player. I, I think the skill level between Bane and Jin is Bane might be better. Yeah. Not, not just uh, the damage, it's just, you know, Jin has played. Jin just plays Jin. Bane plays like more of the ADCs, but she doesn't like truly understand how to play them. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, this might be an Olaf double. Olaf. Oh, 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 oh,
absolutely ruined. Yeah. He's, he's not trying to be a tank, he's trying just trying to be like the you know second ABC. I mean if I was him, I personally would have gone Death Star second artist because it's not like he's not guaranteed to kill at some point. Yeah. Or at least it's like someone else is gonna be real quick when you hold like the damage you do is just really good. Yeah. But look, if, if properly played, a Divine Sundra always beats a Immortal Shieldbow. Because, you know, mm -hmm. the, uh, Immortal Shieldbow is built for a ranged champ. And it, it, as soon as you put on like a melee champ like Yasuo and stuff, it's just like an instant lose into like, you know, bruise and stuff. And conversely, if you think about it, Divine, Divine and stuff should be uh, overpowered on ADCs just because of the way it's built. But not many ADCs can utilize the Sheen. Sheen pass. Look, look at this look at this war difference here. Look, yeah. look at the difference in, in vision. Oh, that was that was the dodge. Yeah. Surprise the main is straight forward there. Oh it's trundle, sorry. Yeah, trundle going for the rift tarot. Yeah. Want some more push power. Yeah, yeah, because Ari is just like shoving things. Looking at a 5.2k gold lead for uh red side, yeah. Well we're probably seeing our similar name of uh number in our previous game was absolute stomping. Yeah. They just get easy to pick this turret. They already come down on this turret. They'll, they'll get the idea or they'll get the turret either way. I don't see the main you Yeah. Oh! 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 It's just gonna go Oh! Oh! Wait, 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 what? Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Here we go. Is this. Is this. Is this. I oh, here's the flash, here's the flash, 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 flash. Oh, nice. Uh, uh, Blitzcrank picks up all up. Okay, okay. Massive Shen Shield. I wonder if he took AP. I wonder if Shen took AP, because that shield is massive. Oh, big play. Not the Ari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Top lane, they might even get inhibit because you know you got like Mordekaiser with some I don't know base attack screen scaling. They got Trundle with Divine. They get to like eat the turret. They yeah, literally yeah. gonna eat the turret. They might even get oh, they've got Olaf. Oh, yeah, Olaf's coming up. But what's he gonna do into like? Look, look at this chain difference between Olaf going squishy and Mordekaiser. With yeah, the Rift Maker. Yeah. It's fucking evil. I think unless Chin's like ridiculously tanky the next item, I don't know if they're gonna have a good tank in this. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of odd because, like, for Vayne, you'd lean like pe pro people with like proper CC. I, I said, right? Yeah, so Annie with the CC and Shen and Olaf with a tank would be perfect for Vayne, but like, maybe they dive in the Vayne skill to carry, that's why he's going for more for Shield Mode. We're looking at a 50 CS difference top, but look at the, the small guys have done nothing for Team Fight all game, but look at Shen, 1 1 5. And no bounty. And no bounty. Yeah. They're just a split pushing power, you know? Mm. And Vayne's done so much CS now. So much CS. Oh. What I think is quite smart by Shin is he fought Teleport, which allows him in the early game to bolt bot lane to save the Vayne for Yumi. And then come back. And then he'd be top lane to stop this. Mordekaiser absolutely just stomping down there. Oh, is this Pentacle 1 Mordekaiser? I think it's Pentacle 3. Oh no, it's not Pentacle 3. Oh, is it? Oh, Pentacle yeah, maybe. Pentacle 3 was the last one, but I'm not sure if it is, because the Pentacle 3... It's probably a Chroma, yeah. It's probably a, uh, probably he has a Chroma on it. Because I saw him do the guitar with the Pentacle. Yeah, yeah. but he's got that white, blue kind of look from it. It kind of looks like an gamey style. Yeah. I don't think they picked this quite nicely. And he's... Oh, that is a big no, and he's definitely dead. And he's definitely dead. Oh, what a flash. One more ult? Yeah, yeah. that is dead. She's got uh, one more ult stack. Okay. Oh, no, they oh, should have gone to the main thing. Yeah. Should have gone for the main thing. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. She will go, she will go, she will go. Oh, that's sad. She could have picked up Ari and if she had fire, she could have gone for reset. They're pretty low. Well, they don't have any damage now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mordekaiser into any squishy chunk is so sad. Like the other way, I got like Divine Ground or something. Mordekaiser, and I had to outplay him so severely just to beat him, and he was like, what? Well, nice ace for the but I think yeah. that hasn't been really too much, you know, it took him so long to ace the team. The, the red team's just, they're matching into groups so well, while the blue team just has not enough vision in the map. Look at the vision, like, yeah. I mean, look at the board placement for blue versus red. I mean, we haven't seen Yumi do anything the whole game other than, like, stay on the ADC. I don't actually think... I don't know what the Wolves for is for Yumi at this point in the game, in comparison to Blitzcrank. Yeah. Blitzcrank is really outgoing. 
and that's just not me. And you look at the massive difference between the mid school. Yeah. This, this Annie's just absolutely lost. I, I mean, you, you, you'd have expected that. See, you'd have, you should have expected that. Yeah, obviously someone is not a good horse. Look at 24 versus 13. So as you look at this great Oh, yeah. What's interesting? Okay, it's okay. okay. Five for the Trundle is only nine from the Ola. Yeah, that's the great gap. And then we've got five war score from the... And it, yeah, but like, she's been dead half the game. <laughs> Can't <laughs> wait for her. <laughs> I think this Mordecai is doing real well. Um, look at three and zero now. Yeah. He's got uh, seventy CS on his, his counter lane. Yeah, this is what happens when you pick like Otiko, you know, one, you know, one trick. We're looking at ten K gold for the week. And in in bronze, we need to come back from ten to ten. <laughs> in bronze, oh, in bronze, in bronze, oh, like every other day, man, every other day. Every other day, you do. No, no, yeah, but, it's, but like, you know, it's from the Titanic, look, 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 Titanic Hydra, mm -hmm. it's a broken item. It was a broken item on anyone with attack speed. It's yeah. so bad in Fury because she doesn't have attack speed, but like, on Warwick, on Crumlow, on, I don't know, name, name a bruiser with attack speed. It is so much damage, so much damage. This might be a clean 1v2, maybe a clean... Oh, 1v3 one one actually. No, okay, does he have ult up? I cannot see, so I cannot... Oh, he's... He's fine, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's 550 gold bounty? Yeah, he's 200 three kills, kills. Out with 3 kills. That makes sense. He hasn't died all game, and he's got a massive CS gap. 70 CS on yeah. that on Shen. And the Rylai's. Ooh, the Rylai's gonna be painful. Ooh, that's gonna be, yeah, that'd be yeah. horrible. I'm pretty sure the Ari still beats the Olaf because she just used his ult. What? He's coming. He's got Giant Spell and he's got a Scepter here. I wonder if he's going to. He's surely not going to demolish it. Giant Spell and. Oh, Thorn Mail, okay. Oh, he's probably going to go for. Yeah, no, he's definitely going to go for Demonic. Demonic? Demonic on. Uh, for the burn damage, you reckon? Nah, just, just because the, you know, health to AP conversion. That's why Titanic is so broken. The health to AD conversion same is the same as the health to AP conversion. It's just so well, you know. That's why Udyr and all is like broken. Udyr, Udyr, if you went like demonic Titanic, mm. oof, man, it's like GG. Oh, okay, oh, yeah. hex flash, hex flash. Oh, uh, missed. <laughs> yeah, just W's back. <laughs> oh, we've got a Mejai on Ari. She's playing for the kills. Playing for the kills. Quite well, though. She's doing quite well on the yeah. game before as well. 4 1 is this time around. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's an interesting control ward placement. That's an interesting control ward placement. I think at this point we need to see Blue Team get a nice ace or really catch up on some gold and some items to really come out because at this point I don't really see them winning. Yeah. Or Vayne just needs to, like, you know, fix her position. Oh, okay, okay, this might be huge for Vayne. Like, she's got such a good position. Oh, but she doesn't do. She doesn't do any damage. Oh, and the Rylai is really kicking it for Mordecai. Did you see that slow? It was insane. Yeah. That Mordecai, the flash was so intelligent because he knew she was. Uh, Vayne was gonna get an ace otherwise. Look at the Trano just one v one in the Annie. And yeah. Just and the Olaf crit build's not working very well this game it seems. Yeah. I, I think. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's just Ari's way. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Just W. Yeah. Look, look at the mug. Light a bowl. Light a bowl. This is what I love about East Wars. Things like this. Yeah. And he's dead. They don't know what's over. But just auto. Just auto. Come on. Okay. 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 <laughs> they can't do anything with that Bane and Shen back out here straight down mid lane. Yeah. If it was me, you know, I'm like, I'm like trigger happy. I'd instant kill the Yumi without waiting for it to drag, without this waiting for it to bounce. Just a fourth drag for Trundle here, and this is just, we're seeing exactly what we saw in the first game. Just an absolute stomp. Yeah. yeah. It's honestly not fair. Actual skill, I mean. Has skill. Has a bit of skill, yeah. It's probably yeah. too bad on Trundle. I wouldn't say that'd be great trying to drag with Shen, but it's not that bad. Look at that, look at that life skill coming back off drag. Yeah. So it's until the quarter health comes out with three quarters. <laughs> yeah. And and you need to remember, Divine Central does not prop from Drake. Is that just coming out of the bush? Is that Ward not actually in the bush? Oh, no, no. It's, uh, it's probably in the bush. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. league's weird, because even it's still. The league's still. The league's Yeah, like legit, it's still. That was forced by Jin. That's a nice kill. That was a waste of all. 
Yeah, yeah. any here is going to do nothing. Flash out, or damage, like, I mean, they've got Infernal, okay, okay, yeah. There's a right move by Annie. Like, Annie, honestly, does the same thing Mayo does now. I don't see, I don't see the need to base, just push, just push, it's an instant. Ooh, ooh, 40, 50, yeah, 14k, yeah, nearly 50. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's massive. I don't think that's a comeback game. Like, I, I think they're gonna go Baron right now. I'd go Baron right now. Yeah. Baron's to the right play. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to wait a little. Wins some Elder Dragons? It is 26 minutes, right? 26 minutes. Right? Yeah. When does Elder Dragon spawn? Oh, I don't. I probably. I, I don't know. We've got 31 minutes. Can I just pick up Drake? Fourth Drake? Yeah, so El Elder Drake's not gonna do a lot, a lot, like, I mean, like, they're so tanky, I mean, they really don't need it, okay. They don't need it, but it's just gonna be a nice for me, just watching blue teams. Yeah. Like, they're not actually gonna pick up Baron off this, which is interesting. Okay, okay, that's probably the smack we got, honestly. Mm. They're gonna have a nice bet, though, they're gonna pick up a few items each, let's see yeah. Herald for Blitzcrank, which is gonna be nice. I see, yeah. see. I see Trundle building, uh, what's it called? Force of nature. Absolutely, absolutely perfect. Although I don't see why. I think he's building force of nature. Because he's got the winged moon plate and negaton float, but he's also the trap west. Look at the anti-healing that Vicky has at this point. Okay, now they've gone for Baron. Because they're pretty much only picking anti-healing and counter off like two champions. Yeah, Trundle, yeah. No, I mean, like, Ari's got pretty much some uh, uh, heal as well. What they need to do now is they need to pick off Ari and they need to pick off um, Mordekaiser like, as soon as possible, just so they can get that gold. That's 1400 gold just sitting there. Yeah, but like, if Trundle gets a good ult and gets a kill, I mean, it, again, it's a, it's another pentacle angle for Trundle as well. Because he's got, like, Divine Titanic, it's a broken combo. And he's got the heal off and he probably has Triumph as well. Okay, this might be huge, this might be huge for Trundle. That's one kill for Trundle, right? Two for kill Trundle. Triple, triple, triple. 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 Divine, oh, Divine's not kicking in, Divine's not kicking in, he's tanking too much. He's tanking. That's GG, that's GG. That's a nice knee, it's a little dash there. Alright, because of the Tara's eyes. Surely they're gonna ult in right. Okay, there's a Okay, I wouldn't have done that, I wouldn't have done that. This is like bronze level up. Okay, I would like to start. Off. We absolutely just flash it as soon. Oh, yeah, there, 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 there. just as we predicted. Another absolute stomping. Yeah, that wasn't even close. I'm sorry to say. Yeah, I mean, I could have said that from the draft. On. I mean, like both teams drafts were pretty bad, but like it's killing gap, honestly. Because one look, team. Look, look, look at the players here. You've got Ham in here. So they're not. They're not feeling great after that, but it's understandable. Um, yeah. It's been great actually, I'm um, having everyone down here for the esports, it's been a great event. Uh, we're coming pretty close to our cut off time. Uh, we've got half an hour to pack up 10 PCs and move them all the whole floor up. Yep. It took us 45 minutes to set them up, and it's <laughs> going to take us double that time to pack them all down. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, let's cut it up. That's your pro analysis by Connor and Jacob for the day. We'll see you next time. See ya. This is the end of Alright, it's kind of disappointing, honestly. Um.
Thank you.